tale of the sprightly tailor. The great MacDonald of Saddle Castle needed many fine things to wear, and he had a tailor who made for him his coats and his waistcoats and his breeches and his trues. And near to Saddle Castle there was a haunted graveyard, and the MacDonald was curious about it. So one day he said to his tailor, Do you think you might make me a pair of trues? I said the tailor. Do you think, said the MacDonald, that you could make me a pair of trues overnight? I think I could do that, said the tailor. Do you think you could make me a pair of trues overnight and outdoors? I think I probably could, said the tailor. Do you think, said the MacDonald, that you could make me a pair of trues overnight, outdoors and in that graveyard over there? That graveyard is supposed to be haunted. I know, said the MacDonald, and I want to find out what it's haunted by. Tell you what, I'll give you three times the normal price if you'll do that. Well, I'd like the money, certainly, said the tailor. So yes, I'll do that. And the tailor set up his work in the graveyard, sat himself down on a gravestone, lit a candle and began to sew and he sewed small, neat stitches. And around about midnight, he felt the ground begin to give a slight shake and he kept on sewing. And then he felt the ground give a bigger shake and he kept on sewing. And then on the far side of the graveyard from him, he saw the ground begin to rise. A mound was rising up out of the earth. And as the turf shook off it, he saw that it was the top of a monstrous head. And the eyes of the head emerged from the ground and they blinked at him. And the nose of the head emerged from the ground and it drew in a great breath. And the mouth of the head emerged from the ground and it said, Do you see this great head of mine? I see that, said the tailor, and I sew this. And he stitched very, very quickly indeed. And then the head rose a bit more and underneath it a great neck. Do you see this great neck of mine? I see that and I sew this, said the tailor, stitching even faster now. Do you see this great chest of mine? I see that and I sew this, said the tailor now making some quite long stitches instead of the small neat ones he'd started with. And the monster rose up even further. Do you see these great legs of mine? I see that and I sew this, said the tailor. Now his stitches were very long indeed. But he'd almost finished and he knotted off the last stitch of the trues and began to fold everything into his bag. For he did not want to leave them behind and lose his money after all this trouble. Do you see these great feet of mine? said the monster. I see that, said the tailor, and I use these. And he got to his own feet and he began to run. And he ran through the graveyard and he jumped over the wall. And on the far side there was little woodland. And he ran through the trees zigzagging with the monster chasing after him. And he saw Saddle Castle in the distance and he ran up the path up the hill to it and he hammered on the door. Let me in, let me in. And the guards opened the door and the tailor ran in and behind him the door slammed. And the monster reached the castle just as the door slammed in its face. And in its fury it reached up and it clawed at the lintel of the door. And to this day on Saddle Castle, you can still see the marks of the monster's claws at the top of the door.